All right, there we go. Um, happy Sunday, guys. This is Tara with Tara Beth Stamps. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Mid Missouri. And tonight, I'm making my screen worse. I'm trying to straighten it up, and I'm not doing a good job. Maybe I need to do it that way. Um, if you're on, give me a shout out. Let me know where you're at. Um, and if this is by chance the first time. Hey, Mary, thanks for joining. Tonight, we are going to do a fun fold. So this is a double Z card. Hey, Lori. Hey, Susan. Thanks for joining. Um, so this is a double Z fold using one of the new products from the upcoming Stampin' Up! January to April mini catalog. So this is a super sweet or I guess what I would call a super sweet. Um, it comes with two stamp sets, two die sets, a um, uh, embellishment, um, and two different embellishments. So super beautiful. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the DSP. So this is the perennial lavender DSP that will be available January the 5th, I believe. And so this, I have it set up like I will for my paper shares. That information is on my blog. Hey, Angie, thanks for joining. So um, I'll be taking orders. There are limited spots, so you want to get in there and get, get in there quick. So this is this gorgeous DSP. Um, absolutely lovely. It's got some of my all-time favorite colors. I love Gorgeous Grape, I love Fresh Freesia, and I love Crumb Cake. So this is really right up my alley. Uh, there we go. So you're looking at some gorgeous DSP. There we go. And here. So gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous paper. You don't want to miss out on this suite. The stamp and die sets that go with it are even more beautiful. So it is gorgeous. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring out our Simply Score tool. Hopefully, if I know where it's at. Because I had everything. We may have to use our... Um, hey, oh, no, here it is. Right on my desk. Hey, Karen. Hey, Rosie. Thanks for joining, guys. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to pull out my Simply Score tool and we're going to get started. All right. Now, what you may find is that this paper in, in this suite is so beautiful that you can't wait until January the 5th. So that means that you need to send me a message and I'm going to tell you how you can get it early. So just go up to my... Doo -doo -doo. And now I can't find my scoring device. Let's see. Here's another one. We'll just swap out the end. I've got two picks going. So I use my Simply Score tool. Hey, Karen, thanks for joining. Hey, Vicki, thanks for joining. So I use my Simply, or my uh, Take Your Pick tool. So the awesome thing about this little guy is not only does it pull off your embellishments and let you place them pretty easily, it has a stylus pick, it has a pokey pick, and then it has this flat piece. And so this is great for like pulling those cards off that you may have gotten on a little too quick that are crooked or something, and it'll help you peel it right off. So let's get to it. This is a half of a piece of cardstock. This is gorgeous grape. I've cut it at four and a quarter by 11. We're going to score at two and three quarters, and we're going to score it at that half mark at five and a half. So this is going to create that fold back panel. I also have a piece of three by nine that we're just gonna score at three and at six. Now, all of these measurements will be on my blog tomorrow. All right, now we're gonna set that score tool out of the way and we're gonna do some folding. All right, so when I am doing this, I normally fold it in half first. Obviously, it doesn't matter how you fold it, but I feel like folding it in half, it makes sure that you've got a nice clean fold mark. I then open it up because sometimes when you score a, with paper underneath, you kind of get a small impression. So I do go ahead and open it up. So watch out for that. So here's the card base. Now all of these can be adapted using any of our paper. Okay, now I'm gonna take that three and I'm gonna score it or fold it, burnish it. I'm going to open it up 
and then I'm gonna flip it around and I am going to fold it and burnish it again. All right, see my screen just went loop-de-loo. It just does that, it tells me that it ends and it really doesn't. Okay, so this is what goes on the inside and it goes like this. So you just kind of fold it out. So I have seen where demonstrators do like a template um, so that you can always have something to fall back to. So we're gonna create our card base all together before we do any stamping. All right, so what I have is I have two sheets of the DSP, the Perennial Lavender DSP, and I'm just gonna adhere them to pretty peacock mats. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, this plaid right here is one of my favorites of all of our DSPs. I can see me using this all the time. And so it's hard not to use that because that's so lovely. All right, so I'm just using my stamp and seal and I'm just putting these on pretty peacock mats. So we'll set that there. And then I have another large piece. Isn't that just gorgeous? These colors are some of my very favorites. I love gorgeous gray. You throw in pretty peacock and I was all in. Okay, so I'm just being careful to make sure that I have an even edge around the sides. And I'm gonna adhere this to your card base. All right, so how was everyone's Thanksgiving? Baby boy and baby girl both came home. We had some good quality family time. It was pretty awesome. I definitely filled my cup up. I hope you guys did too. Um, we cooked on Thursday. We had some friends down from uh, Nebraska. They came and spent part of the weekend with us, so we had a good time. It's funny how the holidays are different when your children are grown than when they're in the house. You have a tendency not to um, run off and do things at the house and do laundry and do those chores that you have the extra time off to do, or at least that's what I found. And so baby girl was supposed to leave yesterday, baby boy was supposed to leave today. They both ended up staying till today, so this mama was one happy lady. All right, so here's our Z. So this is where you get the Z fold coming from, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna adhere this to the back and then open this up and then you'll adhere this. So you only need adhesive on this small side right here. So what I always use is I use tear tape for this. And the reason that I use tear tape for any of my fun fold cards is because it holds, it's just a little bit stronger. So it's, the way it goes is stamp and seal, stamp and seal plus tear tape. That's kind of the way I look at it. So this makes it just a little bit stronger. Now I'm gonna flip this over. So this is gonna go on the back. So I only want tear tape just down these two sides here. Hey Johnny, thanks for joining. We got a full house here today. I'll take that. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that take your pick tool out again. And I'm going to easily tear off the backings. So, this keeps your nails from getting all gross and messed up and sticky. It keeps the tear tape where it belongs. All right, so make sure I have this correct before I lay it down. So I'm just gonna kind of line this up and make sure that I have a good even side. And I wanna make sure that down here and up at the top, it's pretty even and straight. So I feel like that's gonna work. I'm gonna open this up. And now we see that we've got just a little bit here. So I'm gonna take the tear tape off here and here. 
and we're going to fold it down there. So this is our card base. Now let's get to the fun stuff, okay? So what I have here is I have some pretty peacock mats. I die cut a couple of uh, patterns. So here's a different pattern. This is close to the same, but this one has the butterflies that are on the stamp set. All right, now here's the stamp set, perennial postage. So this is beautiful. I love, love, love the sentiments and I'm hoping that I'm seeing that glare may be pretty bad. Um, so I may just kind of lean that down a little bit, see if I can make that so it's not so terrible. I don't know, I'm making it worse, making it better. So beautiful font on this one. And I love when the fonts are so pretty because it does make a difference when you're making your cards. So the font is a big deal to me and I love the font on hit this. Now here is the matching die set. Yes, it's like postage stamps. How cool is that? So let's see here, you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, at least 11 or 12 dies in this particular set. So this is a huge die set that you're getting. And there's so many shapes. This is gonna be, I hope, I'm already hoping that they keep this for a long time because this is gonna be a fun, fun, fun die set to have. Okay, then here is the painted lavender. So this is, goes along with this suite as well, the Perennial Lavender Suite. Beautiful stamp sets. This is a photopolymer, this is a cling. So we're gonna use both today, but you're gonna see a lot of beautiful cards. And we're pulling out those lavenders and purples, Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape, all of, all of the beautiful things. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, so what I have is I have a piece of basic white that I um, die cut with our stitched um, stylish shape dies. And let me see, where's my card? Okay, I did purple on the inside. So we are going to stamp. Um, you mean the world to me. So this is a beautiful feel good set. You've got some gorgeous, gorgeous sentiments, but the, they're really nice. I think there's one that kind of goes with the sympathy. So that's also nice. So I'm gonna stamp that with the Gorgeous Grape ink. And I'm gonna pull this out. And so this is from the Painted Lavender set. And so this is just another piece. Ooh, do you ever get dimensional covers on your ink pads? Throw that away. So I'm gonna ink this up with Gorgeous Grape. So this is a photopolymer set so I can see kind of where I'm going. And I think I'm gonna do it like right there. There we go. Now in the original, I put butterflies, but I didn't mount those, so we're gonna skip that one. All right, so here we go. This is one, two, and three. All right, so I will go ahead I've got two stamp seals on my desk because one of them was almost empty, so I decided to change another one right before we started. You may even be able to hear it click in the original live video at the very beginning. So this is gonna go on the inside of our card base. I think this is the one that's almost empty. And I'm just gonna fold it in and put it right here, making sure that I've got a nice even edge around here. I'm gonna kind of push this over. And then we're gonna do the same with this one. All right, here we go. And then we're gonna fold this over and we're gonna throw this on here. So it may be easier to assemble this before you put it together, unlike what I just did. There we go. And now we're gonna put our front together. 
This DSP is gorgeous. I love this entire suite. This is the one that caught my eye from minute one. I, I loved it so much. And I can't believe that I've held out working with it all this time. Okay. I love this piece right here. All right. So I took, let me show you the dies that go with the perennial or the painted lavender set. So these are the dies that go with the painted lavender set. I've used this piece and this piece, but you've got beautiful dies. This one, you're going to love it. All right. So I'm going to take some liquid adhesive. And I think I use this about once a week. I only use it like one time. Okay. So these guys, I didn't make the whole things because they wouldn't fit. And I knew I was going to trim them down. So I used a scrap piece of paper and just cut off the, cut the tops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this about right where the, the, it comes, the two leaves come together. All right. That's going to work. So I'm just gonna put a little dollop of glue right there. There we go. Now we're gonna cut this one off, probably in the same exact spot, but we're gonna angle it this way. We're gonna give it a little bit of dollop of glue there. And you can see why I don't use liquid adhesive very often. I get very heavy handed with it. It's great when adhering die cuts, but man, I am heavy, heavy handed with it. Okay, now I have this little guy that we're going to cut the end off. And it's just going to go right there. There we go. Okay. Now the last thing I need for my front, I've already die cut a piece of basic white with those postage, um, whatever they were, the perennial postage dies. And so we're gonna take our stamp from that coordinating stamp set. It says, you're simply marvelous. We're gonna ink it up in Pretty Peacock and give it a stamp. Now that doesn't exactly, it kind of falls off on the side here, but I think it's close enough that it works. I'll leave it there. Now I'm gonna use my Stampin' Dimensionals to put this on here. And then I'm gonna show you the embellishments that come with this suite. I have them both sitting here. The only thing that it's rib missing is beautiful ribbon. Yes, Nell, these di these dies are gorgeous. But you know what else? I'm sitting right here and I'm looking. Look at this sparkly glimmer paper that you can get from the online exclusives. Look how well that matches that suite. There's a pairing if I've ever seen one. That's going to be perfect. Yes, thank you, Rosie. Pop on over and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you don't already. Okay, I've put some Stampin' Dimensionals on here. We're just going to seal that on there, and then we're going to put it on the front. And I'm going to use liquid adhesive this time. This is something you won't see me do very often. All right, there we go. I'm going to seal this down, and we may look at it and go, wow, it's really pretty, but it's just missing something. What could it be missing? Uh, these beautiful gems here. These are purple fine shimmer gems. And so I'm going to use a couple, like a big one. Let's use a small one. And it looks like there's two tones of purple or three. Yeah, three tones of purple here. I'm going to use another big one. And we'll go right there. Now, tell me that's not gorgeous. Gorgeous. I am in love with this suite. Now, you will also, if you purchase the suite, get a package of the Paper Butterfly Accents. So these come along there. You can ink blend on these. You can color them with markers. You could probably watercolor on them. Whatever you wanted to do, but these are beautiful. All right, 
Last thing we got to do is get our envelope ready. I'm going to flip it over here and do a quick stamp of that lavender plant again, just here in the corner. Oops. Got a little overzealous there. All right, I'm going to be back here next week. I want you to check out my blog for my paper share information. That paper share is coming in January. Um, orders are going to be taken through December. Um, but you don't want to miss that sampling of gorgeous paper. Make sure we turn it the right direction. And you'll get a small sampling of all the papers as well as a small sampling of the celebration stuff coming out. There is so many packages of DSP, so many different patterns that you can get free with those $50 purchases. Once again, if you just can't wait to get these till January, reach out, chat with me. We'll talk it over. We'll see what we can do. See if we can't get you that stuff early. All right, so here's tonight's card. I'll be back next Sunday with another Stampin' Tutorial. Thanks so much for giving me part of your weekend. I appreciate it. We'll see you next week. Have a good one, friends.